Hey, I'm Jimmy from JimmyRose.me and in this video you're going to learn how to automatically create Google Documents from a template by automatically populating certain fields uh, in that document. It's incredibly useful workflow for creating all kinds of documents. One example might be that you have a standard proposal document and you have places in there for like the client name and the budget and that kind of thing. And you want to automatically replace all of those fields uh, with some data that comes in from somewhere else. Like maybe they have filled out a contact form. You could take that data and plug it straight into a templated Google document. I use this for my podcast. So before someone comes on the show, they book in uh, with their name and some other information and give me a couple of ideas of what we can talk about in the show. Zapier then copies my run sheet for the podcast uh, with a bunch of the information. So I can just open that document right before the podcast and just run through it and I'm ready to go. You can create basically any kind of document with this. I'm going to go super simple today just so you can see how this works. Um, and just so I'm not repeating the same stuff in every video, I assume you know a little bit about Zapier already. If you're brand new, you might want to start with my Zapier tutorial video, which I will link up in the description as well as show uh, in a little icon on the video up the top about now. But for now, let's dig into the workflow. Here is a folder on Google Drive that I've just called Zapier Examples and I've created a very simple document here where we've got client name and then you've got this funny tag looking thing here and that is two open curly brackets, some text and two closed curly brackets and you'll see how this works with Zapier shortly. Now this could be any kind of document, right? Like you, this could be a complex invoice where you've got uh, like an address maybe in the top right hand corner, like a letterhead or something. Uh, you can have whatever you want here. I've just kept this really simple so you can see what's going on. And, and I've got a list in here so I can show you a cool little trick. Uh, and now we're gonna jump over into Zapier. I've already created a new zap here. I've called it create Google doc from template. And I've already created a trigger here using push by Zapier. Now this can be anything. It could be that a contact form has been filled out. Uh, someone signed a proposal. Uh, it, it's going to depend on your workflow. The main thing I want to show you here is the action. Uh, if you don't know how triggers work, you'll probably need to go and watch that Zapier tutorial that I linked up earlier. But just know that in this trigger, I've pulled in some data that includes the client name, the client budget, and this list. And this is literally just a piece of text with a new line character after each one. And that's it. So I'm going to continue through and we'll add our action, which is using Google Docs. The action we want is to create a document from a template. So let's pick that and continue. I'm going to choose an account that I've set up earlier. And now we come to actually choosing the document. Now, if I click this arrow, for some reason, it's only bringing in two documents. It's saying there's only two in my account. And I found that Google Drive can be a little bit funny like this at times, especially if you're using team drives or one of those uh, more advanced tools. So in this case, if it's not loading, because normally I just want to be able to click that my template in the list and search for it, but it's not working. So I'm going to use a custom value. And then we need the document ID. So just jump over to the document and actually copy this part of the URL out. So everything between the slash D and the edit and dump that in there. And now we just need to give our new document a name. So maybe it's a proposal for uh, the new client name. So we're just gonna pull in that data from the trigger. There's the client's name. And then what folder we're going to put it in. So select this. Um, and you can see it has given me my Zapier examples option there. Um, same thing here, if you cannot find the folder that you want, you can do the same thing we talked about before by going to user custom value and then grabbing this ID out of the URL and the same sort of thing will apply as long as the account you are using uh, has access to the ID that, or the folder ID that you select, it should be fine. Um, but for now, I'm just going to clear this and use that uh, folder here. And you'll notice that it's actually just gone and found all the replacement tags in that document. So if I jump back over, remember there was client name, budget, and list. And it's already gone and pulled these in. 
So if you want to go and add a new one now, um, you would just go and do that in the document and then refresh and it'll pull in these fields again. But it's pretty simple now. We're just going to map in uh, our client name, the budget, and the list. Go ahead and continue. And we'll test. Uh, so it says it's successful. So I'm gonna jump back over now and then we go. We can see proposal for test client. Open that up and it's replaced the name, the budget and the list. It was smart enough to actually create that list just based on the new line characters that I'd put in there. So obviously this is a super basic example but you can have all kinds of stuff in here like tables or um, any kind of formatting you like and you can automatically create documents uh, without having to go in and like copy and paste things into a template. So this is a super time saver. Uh, going one step further, if you are on a premium Zapier account, I would recommend looking into Google Cloud Print uh, and that will actually allow you to turn these documents into PDFs and save them in your drive automatically as well. I will go into that in a separate video, however. Hopefully that was a fun little new workflow for you to save you a bunch of time. Uh, that's it for this video. If you would like to learn more about how to become uh, advanced at Zapier and save a ton of time in your business, uh, head over to jimmyrose.me slash Zapier dash mastery, which I'll link up below or otherwise just subscribe to the channel below to get more time saving tips like this on the regular. I'll see you in the next video.